So basically, what you see, ladies, is why is it that we are gaining this weight? And why is it that we're being diagnosed with hypothyroidism? It's because we were blessed with the privilege of getting older. And we are going through the physiological changes of life. And we're going through the expected and the anticipated hormonal imbalances. But no one has checked on hormones. Now, you have an increase in estrogen because of your decrease in progesterone. But what else is causing the increase of your estrogen? The things that we eat, our environment, right? It's more so called epigenetics. Our exposure is, is what is causing a change in our hormones. So the more estrogen we have, the more fat we have. That's just how it goes. As we age, we can't exercise the way we used to when we used to run track and when we were cute little cheerleaders and all that different stuff, right? Because actually, believe it or not, some endurance exercises, triathlon and so on and so forth, it increases cortisol because it increases stress. And that's why they tell you to do interval training. It works. The patients who I work with work out 22 minutes a day. You run like you got a saber tooth tiger. Okay, he's not there anymore. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. You're done. And you will see results. Selenium. We just need to take some of them. There are 90 essential nutrients that are not in our food, that are not even in our multivitamins, that we don't even know that we're supposed to have. Selenium, zinc, vitamin B5, B6, B1. Folic acid, we all know about the folic acid. But it's the essential nutrients that we have to take. Clean your gut. You have to start off by cleaning your gut. You gotta clean the biggest nervous system. This is the key to all of our pathology. If it's been on the shelf in a can for months, and then it was in the warehouse for a few more months, you gotta put that in you? Not a good idea, right? Everything that we wanna put inside of us is perishable because we're perishable, right? So this is just food for thought. No pun intended. <laughs> yes. So basically, if I just was to summarize everything that I was trying to relay in this brief talk, mainly, after a certain point, we get a diagnosis and it's hypothyroidism. What I want everyone to think is, is it really hypothyroidism? Or is it something else? And if it is thyroid, can you show it? Can you confirm it? Just anticipate and just know that certain things are going to happen and just be stronger than those things that happen. And that's how we will keep the weight off. Interval training, drink plenty of water, keep the stress down, meditate, take care of your gut, and change your, heart, change your diet. And love yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love yourself. So, thank you. That's it for me. Wow. Wow.